so it might only be like quarter to 11 in the morning. Free beers for customers. And we haven't even had breakfast yet. So now this is, this is breakfast with a haircut. You're not really supposed to uh, be too loud in these places, so I'll just whisper. This Thailand video series is sponsored by Wandergo, an app for travellers and digital nomads. Sharing the best destinations, useful tips, average living costs, co-working spaces and more. Check it out. It's another smoggy day in Bangkok today. Yeah, we were reading on the news that something like 400 schools have been shut down because the toxic smog is so bad. I didn't actually realise that Bangkok got that bad. I don't think it's like, well I mean obviously there is air pollution but I don't think this is a common thing. Oh you said burning season. Yeah, I think burning season Does it relate? in Chiang Mai, maybe, I don't know. Right, so anyway, it's smoggy. Burning season when they burn away all the rice and everything, and so it's just, Chiang Mai gets really bad. This is just a bit more, uh, I don't know if it's pollution or smog. Who knows? Anyway, <laughs> today we're gonna try and go That's some- That's the weather forecast for the day. <laughs> so I mentioned the other day in a video the area called Ekamai, and we've heard about this upcoming neighborhood, this, we hate the word, but this hipster. Yeah. You, you hate saying it, oh, you I never say it. it. I'm always the one that we're like trying to explain it. And I'm like, God damn it, it's hipster. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's got apparently it's got a cool kind of like cafe culture and stuff. And yeah, we're just gonna go and check it out. We've got backpacks on because our internet, we mentioned the other day, our internet has not been playing nice at all in our place. So we need to also find a co-working space that we can actually get some work done. Um, but we'll uh, go into all of that in more detail. It seems like it's only a couple of BTS stations away from us, so. We'll uh, get off this road and go and do it. Yeah. Everything, everything looks pretty normal so far. Don't really know what to expect, but that's that's why. We, so this is where we're torn because we have said on the channel before that we told you guys that we don't really like big cities, but big cities have so much more to offer in terms of variety that you can do the crazy food tour, local market stuff like we did the other day, then come to an area like this. Well, what we're assuming is going to be this uh, this cool youth, young area sort of thing that's up and coming. Then there's our neighborhood, which feels really super local. There's all the shopping and everything. It's just such a um, there's such a contrast. So that is that is kind of nice about the big cities. Whereas other places that we've been, like Chiang Mai, don't necessarily have the same variety. But it's just that calm neighborhood sort of feel that we enjoy. So really curious to see how this plays out. Anyway. So we've just come off into a soy street or a, a little side street. It still feels really local. There's a little local market there or, you know, local eatery, sorry. You come around here, you can definitely start to see. Once the logos start to change, it's generally a good sign that you've come into a, a very different area. I think we're going to try and go to this cafe here real, real quick. Just folks, we're not going in here. Bye. Honestly, we're off to a bit of an average start. Would you say? Yeah. Like, just, just being honest. Well, yeah, so maybe we haven't found the heart of the area yet. So instead, like in any good hipster place, quickly found a good barber. So we a little bit of a trim up while we're here. I'm sure it's gonna be, whew, it's gonna be pricey on the old bank account, but I've been, I'm in need of it. Yeah, look at this, complimentary. I thought he was giving us something to be like, sss, 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 like spray my own hair or something. And then we actually went to Nestle this afternoon and put this big bag with our laptops to work and get some stuff done. Which might be really interesting to show some of you guys the type of uh, co-working, co-living, uh, community type workspaces that you can find around the world. It might only be like quarter to 11 in the morning. 
but Max here just offered us uh, free beers for customers. And we haven't even had breakfast yet. So now this is this is breakfast with a haircut. This is what you get. This is the life. A beer for breakfast and a and a haircut and a friendly guy. Like they were lovely in there, weren't they? Yeah, he was so nice. He was from Chiang Mai, so we had lots to talk about. And we're showing him all our favorite restaurants and stuff, and he was like, ah, oh, cup, cup. He knew all of the exact same places. That was such a cool experience. It's one that I will, I think, always remember. An awesome car as well. Not that, that anybody, so nice. not that anybody, I'm sure cares, but. <laughs> I care. <laughs> so anyway, while Danger was getting his haircut, I um, was scrolling through the Wandergo app so that we could figure out a place to go and get some work done. And I found a co-working space that I liked the pictures. <laughs> First and foremost, I liked the pictures. I had pictures of coffee, um, could figure out the pricing and everything. Yeah, we were just on our way there. But oh it's, so, it's so bumpy. <laughs> it's so bumpy. So we're in a grab at the moment. Um, Grab is definitely the fastest, well, maybe not the fastest, it is the cheapest way to just move between places, but because we're walking around with our laptops, it seems yeah, to be the way to go. Hot. But this place is also a cafe, right? So hopefully we yeah. can get some food as well, because I'm food starving now, and uh, get that coffee since the other place was closed. I know this was going to be all about us exploring that area, Ekamai, but it's just difficult. Yeah, we did loads of research and didn't really recognize the fact that everything is so spaced apart. I'm Things happy though. Closed, yeah. Beer, haircut, and then we found an awesome spot to go to anyway, and it's simple to get there. Yeah. It's all good. We're good. <laughs> Steepest stairs ever. Oh my god. The <laughs> To zoom in. We just finished climbing Mount Everest to get to the co-working space. We're actually in the cafe, which is one level below. We grabbed ourselves a couple of nice lattes. Um, and I, we think this is the level that, oh, that you uh, buy your passes. Maybe, yeah. And it's three hours for 190 baht each. supposed to uh, be too loud in these places so I'll just whisper <laughs> it's a really nice space so the reason that people come to spots like this co-working space is valuable because the internet is super fast it's really quiet so it's super productive there's free water and you can get like coffee and bits and pieces and stuff as well it's just comfortable and you can have a full desk set up and actually be extremely productive i find that when i come to these spots i end up doing those little tasks and stuff that i otherwise maybe wouldn't do because you just feel like you're in someone else's space like you're at you properly you're in a workspace this one's really nice So that was a productive few hours. There were these little snacks in there as well. These little like little treat type things that they smelled a bit like uh, dog biscuits, but they tasted really good. So. Are you sure they were for humans? What's that? Are you sure they were for humans? Oh yeah, I think they were for humans. There were no other dogs in there, so other dogs like I am on. <laughs> well, because that spot is in Siam, there's this whole collection of shopping malls here. We actually need to do a bunch of shopping and last time we filmed Bangkok we got loads of questions and interest in the video that we did about the shopping malls. So we decided we're going to go for two for one today and we're going to show off the, the um, MBK which is like the knockoff mall and then this row of Siam nice stuff. We just ate a bunch of food here, a Thai dish and some Hainanese chicken which is my personal favourite. It's really um, common in Thailand and they were both terrible. <laughs> what you get in a food court isn't it um, nothing like what we ate the other day on our like, on our actual food mission our food tour where we got to try the, the good good because this stuff just basic anyway that wraps up today's video we will see you again well for us i'll see you again in like three seconds when we start the next video but otherwise check back in a couple of days time for that one thank you so much for watching <laughs> bye